in lineup, man by man, and uh, in goal, Mark Schwarzer retains his place, and he had a good game in Montevideo, getting his 35th cap. Tony Popovic, a surprise selection in Montevideo, also retains his place, as does Lucas Neal at the anchor of the defence. Tony Vidmar, the old man of the team at 35, here on this grand occasion. On the left flank, Scotty Chipperfield, Vince Greller at the anchor of the defence, and then Brett Emerton on the right flank, as he was in Montevideo. Here's the new man, Tim Cahill, at 25, to add a bit of punch to the attack. And up front, uh, to the left of Viduca, is Bresciano, Mark Viduca, the captain in the centre, and Jason Colina in the same position that he played uh, against uh, Jamaica in that 5-0 victory over the Jamaicans in that friendly. I think, Ned, it's a very offensive lineup out there to uh, uh, get goals. And, of course, it's important that you've got players like Kuehl, Aloisi, you mentioned, Archie Thompson on the bench to give a bit of impact should we concede a goal. Well, there's definitely a lot of uh, quality on the bench that can come on and hurt Uruguay. I, uh, I'm hoping that uh, our wide players get into positions a lot more tonight uh, than they did in Uruguay and get some crosses in. I think Uruguay, I think they're vulnerable to when the ball gets cut back or is whipped in from the side. I think if you, if you attack them in the centre, they're hard to break down. But uh, if we can get the ball out wide and get Viduca and Bresciano maybe steaming in, I think we can cause them a lot of problems. All right, then let's talk about the Uruguayan lineup now, as we still unconfirm, but this is what we think it's going to be. Carini in goal. He wasn't really tested all that much, but played well for what he had to do. Dario Rodriguez, of course, a key player in that uh, contest. Paulo Montero, the captain, the veteran. Uh, and Lugano returns from uh, suspension. That will be a key ingredient in this lineup, won't it, Fozzi? Yes, absolutely. Look, they, uh, they're going to go on the counter attack. Um, and uh, as always, look, Pablo Garcia, to me, he's a real key to this game tonight. He controlled the whole second half of that match, plays for Real Madrid, vastly experienced, beautiful left foot. He showed with a, a wonderful through ball to Rakoba to release him that he does have the vision and the range of passing as well to release his forwards. So for me, we need to make sure that uh, either Cahill or Bresciano keeps reasonably near to Pablo Garcia in the centre there, tries to stop him playing, try to stop him dictating the tempo for Uruguay. Here are the Australians heading into their dressing rooms. Just the impact, Fozzy, of Lugano coming in from... Uh, because, uh, as we remember, uh, uh, Viduca won just about every ball in the air That's right. uh, in Montevideo, but Lugano is a different proposition. Yeah. And also Varela coming in, who's a bit of an enforcer in midfield. Well, Lugano is a super defender, and he is going to be an issue for Viduca. The guy apparently is going to be bought by Real Madrid. Uh, this is Lugano in the January transfer window. So he's a marvellous player. Uh, Varela, you know, he'll come back into midfield. Where, I don't quite know. Diego Lopez played in Lugano's position on Viduca in, in the Centenario, and he came off injured, but they were so pleased, I understand, from the Uruguayan camp, so pleased with his performance, that he might go in alongside Garcia in the centre of midfield uh, to, to play that holding role, to try and stop the likes of Cahill and Bresciano getting on the ball. So that, for us, would be interesting.